Hello everyone. So welcome to my channel. Yeah, so here it is. So it just actually looked like I just got out of the shower. Now to finish my look, I'll be using my YSL lipstick. So this is my uh, newest lipstick in my collection. This is what I'll be bringing. Uh, so of course I have my mask, my um, alcohol. So this is what I decided to wear. So I'm just going to wear this plain t-shirt. Um, So welcome to my channel. So for today's video, I'm gonna do a quick get ready with me. So I'll be going out with some mummy friends today and I will be going out for a patio dinner. Um, it's actually an early dinner. So yeah, so I'm gonna do a bit of a spring uh, look. So if you're interested in this type of video, um, please um, continue watching. And if you are new to my channel, um, please don't forget to um, hit the subscribe button so that whenever I have a new video upload, um, you'll be notified. And if you do like this video, please don't forget to give me a thumbs up and comment down below. I'll be sharing as well um, some products that I've been using over the years which are applicable for my skin type and at the same time which I loved. Uh, why I love them and what's so special about them and yeah so I'll be sharing it with you and I'll, I'll link all the products that I'll be using in this video on the description box so if you'll be interested into it um, you can check it out as well okay so now let's get started so I've already prepped my skin so now I'm gonna put this um, air flash um, CC primer from Dior Beauty so I've been using this product um, I believe like almost like five six years now so they did change this one so this one is now the radiance mist so it used to be the CC primer so it used to be a primer but at the same time it's a mist so you can use it before or after your makeup so what I love about this product is um, it actually gives that natural glowy look into the makeup because um, I tend to use only like light coverage foundations so I like prepping up my skin is the most important um, it's the most important step into my makeup routine so now I'll be using this Giorgio Armani uh, essence in foundation cushion so it's in um, the number four so basically this cushion foundation has skincare benefits so it is an essence at the same time as a makeup so normally i use foundations that are actually um has skincare benefits into it just so it adds more of the natural look but at the same time it also do have that glowy um after finish into my makeup so yeah so as you can see here it is very light coverage so yeah so i've put on that essence foundation cushion foundation so yes yeah, you can see it's not like a heavy coverage it is a very very lightweight coverage so i don't really like to cover more like i don't really like to cover my imperfections like a lot of my imperfections so i only wanted to like have it as a touch up so i still want to have that natural look so next is this cream concealer from skin food uh i think that's <laughs> yeah Okay, there you go. So yeah, so it is the cream concealer from Skin Food. So it is a Korean brand. So I've been using this product since I was in college. So what I love about this, it's creamy, but at the same time, it's not the greasy type of um, concealer. Um, so normally I don't really like the heavier coverage, especially under the eye, because I wanna protect my under eye area, because this is the most delicate part of our skin. Uh, it is the most thinnest, so you don't really wanna put like any product under your eye that is very harsh, because it's the first thing that is gonna age. So and that's where 
um, all of the lines are gonna show right away. So as much as possible, you wanted to um, protect it. I'll be using this NARS translucent um, crystal powder. So um, this one is just a um, clear powder that I'll use under my eye just to keep the concealer and the foundation um, in place. So yeah, just so to prevent the crease um, effect into it because my eye area is usually very oily and I'll touch it up as well in my T-zone so I prevent to put it on my cheek because I want that glowy look. So next is this NARS um, bronzer so it is in the shade of Laguna so this is I think is their most universal shade because I used to use this one um, for my clients as well. As you can see, I put the bronzer into um, the, my cheekbone and into my jawline and I also put a little bit into my forehead and into the bridge of my nose. So basically, I did this based on my face shape. Uh, so yeah, so I have a really round face. So I wanted to cut out a little bit of the fats in here and to add a little bit of the cheekbone. And at the same time, I also want to cover a bit of my forehead basically because I have a really high forehead. So if I put a highlight into it, it's just going to focus more on my forehead. So I tend to just put a little bit onto this side so it will cut down because my hairline is really high. Next is I'll be doing my blush. So I'm using this um, Chanel um, Cream On Stick. So it's the blush in number uh, 23. Okay, so it is this color so it has a little bit of a pink and a coral um, shade into it so I really really love it it it's it smells so good and at the same time if you can see it in here it is very glowy it is cream type so it is easier to blend um, but at the same time it is really glowy and I love it I love glowy look I love natural look so yeah it doesn't have that much coverage into it which I love because um, I said I've been I keep on saying to this video that I love natural look. Okay, so yeah, so here it is. So it just actually looked like I just got out of the shower kind of look. So that's the type of um, look that I'm aiming for. Since I am going out um, with friends tonight and it is more of like a dinner, I'm putting a little bit um, of a powder um, uh, blush into my cheek just to add a little bit more color into it. So here I'll be using uh, the Christian Dior um, Beauty uh, Rosy Glow. So um, yeah, so this is the petal uh, shade 001. So it is this this color it's not that much tinted as well but I just like adding a little bit of pinker color to it so yeah so as you say like it looks like the drunk blush type of look so now I'll be um, doing my eyes. So I'll be using two um, shades of a palette. So one is from the MAC and this one is from Tom Ford. Yeah, so I'll show you. So this one has more of like the bronzy um, pink colors 
and it, you can see it is more of like a shimmer type of um, eyeshadow and well this MAC one is more of like the neutral type of colors so yeah so, so this is the one that I use most of the time as you can see okay so first I'll be using this um, MAC palette uh, so it is the Dusky Rose Times 9 eyeshadow palette from MAC so I'll be using this one as my base color <music> Then now I'll be using um, this golden um, eyeshadow um, by Tom Ford. So this is the eye color quad in number four honeymoon. So yeah, so I'll be using this one in the middle of my eyes. I'll be doing my crease or the outer layer of my eyes and I'll be using uh, this shade again in the matte palette that I have. And now I'm gonna add a little bit of a shimmer into the inner corner of my eyes just to make my eyes look more um, brighter and uh, bigger. So now for my under eye, I'll be uh, using uh, the same um, base that I used uh, for my eye area. And I'll be adding a little bit of this brown shimmer. I really like um, using eye pencils under my eye because my eyes are really watery. I just use a darker um, eyeshadow to put on my waterline. So I'll be using this one. Again, that lighter shade that I put into the inner corner of my eyes under here. So it so now I'm just gonna do a little bit of a cleanup under my eye area. I'll be doing my eyeliner. I really love this um, Charlotte Tilbury eyeliner. So it is the Filin Flick in Super Brown. So I really love this one because I have a really oily eyelid. So it doesn't actually transfer on my crease area. Eyebrows, I'll be using this um, Dior Show um, Brow Styler. So, yeah, so, it's this one. So, this one is the shade Brown 001. And um, what I like about this brow pencil is um, it is really fine. As you can see, it is really thin. So, I use this one to um, line my eyebrows so i just use it as a stencil so yeah so that's how i outline it 
And now to fill it in, I'll be using this Gimme Brow um, by Benefit in the shade number three. So it is a brow volumizing fiber gel. Um, so it actually acts more of like a natural eyebrow look. So whenever I'm not wearing any makeup on or if I'm just going to go out to do some errands, I'll just put this one on so it actually adds a little bit of a color into my eyebrows. see it the edges of my brows looks like a box type which I don't really like because it doesn't look natural so what I do is I grab my Dior uh, contouring brush and then I just blend it into my nose just an additional um, contour so, yeah so that's how it looks so it's look more natural in that way so now I'll be uh, doing my eyelashes. So I'll be using this Charlotte Tilbury eyelash curler. So I love that it is rose gold. <laughs> That's mainly the reason why I bought it. But at the same time, it actually is really good. I don't really have that much of eyelashes. So normally I actually put fake lashes. But today I just want to look more natural. So then I'll be using this um, Benefit Their Real Magnet um, Mascara. Yeah, it is Magnet Mascara. Yeah, so it actually helps to um, add more lashes and it makes my lashes longer. put um, mascara um, in my lower lash line because um, as I said my eyes my waterline is very watery so it actually just smudged down in here so which I don't really like for my final touches so I'll be um, using this uh, NARS um, highlighter it's the Fort de France this one it is actually um, the most universal shade um, of highlighter it actually goes really well for all skin types so now to finish my look i'll be using my ysl lipstick so this is my uh, newest lipstick in my collection so yeah so this is the slim i think this is one of their new collections actually uh it is in the shade number eight so it is more of the pinky red shade so i really like it because it's more of like a spring color for me this is the final look of my makeup i'll be um, getting dressed up and i'll get back to you and i'll show you my whole outfit so this is what i've decided to wear so i'm just gonna wear this plain t-shirt um from zara and then i'm just gonna wear this um really cute gray um pearl cardigan from h&m So this is what I'll be bringing. Uh, so of course I have my mask, my um, alcohol, and then my Chanel hand cream, and then the lipstick that I used a while ago just for a little bit of a touch up, and then the keys, and then my tube wallets, and then this is the shade that I'll be using. So it's from Gentle Monster. Um, then I'll be bringing my Louis Vuitton Game On um, heart uh, bag and I'll be wearing my uh, gentle monster um, sunglasses and for today's last touch I'll be using my Narciso Rodriguez um, perfume forgot to mention I'll be wearing my Valentino flats as well 
that's it for today's video and i'll be posting my whole outfit in my instagram account so if you haven't followed me i'll put it um down here uh so it's at it's abby peaking and you'll see um all the outfits that i've been doing and um some of my makeup looks as well and i want to thank you for watching my video and i'll see you on the next one um, please don't forget to like and subscribe if you did love this video Thank you.